Good afternoon, everyone. This is Isabel with Netsu Phone, and today we're going over the Polycom phones and how its features work. As you can see, I put some handouts out there. They're the Polycom series quick tips and um, a copy of this presentation along with the voicemail guide. If you guys could see my screen and you could hear me, please raise your hands. Okay, great. So today we're going to start with the bottom left side. This first button you see there, a phone with an arrow pointing to a phone, that is your transfer button. When you press this button, the phone will wait for you to put in a four-digit extension or a 10-digit number, like an outside number. You do have to wait two seconds. The phone will grab the call and push it out to that number. So it is a blind transfer. The envelope button you see right under that, that button will get you to your voicemail box. So if it's the first time you're going into your voicemail, it will ask you for a password and everyone is defaulted to 1000 until you go in and change your password. So once in there, it will tell you to press 1 to uh, listen to your messages. And when you have a message you have not listened to, this LED light on the top will blink red until you, and it will stay blinking until you're going to your voicemail box and either delete or save that message. So the button right under that with the pause and a phone, that is your hold button. When you press this button, your caller will hear music. We do have hold music by default. If you guys have any other music you wanna upload or if you have any announcements, you could just upload it or call it into support. They can assist you with that. So when you place a call on hold, your screen will go from green to blue, letting you know you placed that caller on hold. Okay, so moving on to the middle dial pad. The start button that you see right there, that is your intercoming button. When you press this button, you will dial the ex your colleague's extension and their phone is gonna ring once very quickly and their speaker is gonna open up automatically. So it's a two-way communication. And once um, their speaker opens up, you can start talking to them right away. Moving on to the plus and minus, that is your volume button and it will adjust the volume depending on what you're doing with the phones. So if you're on your handset, it will adjust your earpiece volume. If you're on speaker, it will adjust your speaker volume. And if you're not using the phone, it will adjust the ringer on the phone. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to these buttons right here on the right side. The first button is your headset. If you do have headsets, you could just plug them to the back of the phone. There will be a small icon there. If you're interested in getting headsets, uh, you could go online and type in Polycom headsets and it will give you the list of the ones that work well. We do know that Polycom does have headsets and Jabra also have headsets that work well with the phones and you could also get them wireless if you want to. Moving on to your speaker button. When you press your speaker button, it will light up green and you will hear a dial tone right away. So let's say you're on your handset, you wanna to go to speaker, just press the button and you're safe to hang up your handset. If you're on speaker, you wanna to go to handset, just pick up your handset and your speaker button will turn off. Moving on to your mute button. When you press the mute button, you will be putting your caller in a position where they can't hear you, but you can still hear them. So that button will light up red as soon as you press it and will let you know that you have that call on mute. To unmute the call, just press the button again. Now we're gonna move on to your top left side. These buttons right here are called your BLFs, which means um, blinking lights field. And these buttons can be programmed differently for everyone as they are customizable. So everyone's line button is the first button on top. That button that you see right there, all your incoming calls will come in through that line. And if other calls are, are coming in, they will still ring your phone and they will still show on your screen. So most of our customers have the buttons right under that programmed as their colleagues extensions. And there's 
two things that come with that. You, If you're not using the phone and you press one of those buttons, you could speed dial that extension. And if you're currently on a call and you press one of those buttons that are programmed, you could speed transfer the call that you're currently on to that extension. There are also called line presence, which uh, they let you know when your colleague is currently on a call because they will light up red, letting you know. And when they are receiving an incoming call, it will blink green. Moving on to your park buttons. If you have any space available here, by default, we will set up these two buttons at the bottom as park buttons. And park buttons are universal holds, which means you are setting a call out there for anyone to grab. Their phones will, ring, uh, will blink red. So instead of placing a call on hold, you will place it on park. And you're free to dial someone's extension and announce your transfer. You could say, hey, I have Joe on park one. Can you answer? and they will be able to answer the call from their phone. When you place a call in park, your caller will hear music. Now we're gonna move on to your soft keys. These buttons right under your screen, these are called your soft keys. And the reason why they're called soft keys is because their features change depending on what you're doing with the phones. So if you're not using the phone, right now you will notice that you have forward, D&D, &D, and page. With forward, it allows you to come in and put in a 10-digit number or a four-digit extension, and any calls that come into that phone, it won't ring your phone, it will ring the number that you put in. So it is great if you're uh, going into a meeting, you still want people to get you on your cell phone, you will come in, put forward your calls to your cell phones, or if you're going on vacation, you could forward your calls to someone's extension, and you could always disable that when you get back. The other one is D&D. &D. D&D means do not disturb. And when you have the D&D feature, you will notice that on your line button, which is the first one up here, normally you have a circle with the green check mark going through it. When you have D&D &D on, it will turn into a red circle with the line going through it. That's how it's gonna indicate to you that you have the do not disturb on. When you have it on, your phone will not ring or your calls will go directly to your voicemail. Then we have Page. Page allows you to open up everyone's speaker in the company at once. You do have to wait a few seconds for all the phones to open up, and then you could come in and make your company announcement. So while you, while you are on the phone, you will see this. You will see hold, end call, transfer, and more. With the hold feature is the same one as the button down here. Your screen will go from green to blue, and your caller will hear music. With end call, it will just get rid of whatever call you're currently on, and you're free to dial someone new or to, uh, or to answer a new call. With the transfer, it's the same transfer feature as the button down here. It is a blind transfer. However, if you prefer um, announcing your transfer, we could set up the soft key to be a consultative transfer. Whoever uh, prefers doing the consultative transfer, please um, put it in the chat and I will email you the instructions on how to do it on your phone. Then we have more. If you press more, it will open up another page. And there you will have conference, line, and next for the VM. With the conference, it is a three-way call. So let's say you're currently on a call, you wanna add someone new. All you have to do is click on conference, you will hear a dial tone, you will dial someone new, you will talk to them, and then you will click on conference again for the, sec for the second time to connect your calls. So the easy way to remember this is to press conference, dial someone new, talk to them, conference. Then we have line. Line will give you access to all the functions behind your caller ID. So let's say you're currently on a call and you need someone's uh, number, you could always press line. It will give you access to these um, icons and you could go into your directory without interrupting your call. Then we have Expert VM. Expert VM will transfer the call that you're currently on to someone's voice mailbox. So uh, let's say your colleagues are, on, are busy on another line or they don't wanna be interrupted. You could just press Expert VM then the extension and that call will be transferred to their voicemail. Moving on to your home key. 
Your home key is a little house on the right side. If you press it once while you're not using the phone, it will get rid of your caller ID and it will give you access to these icons. From there, you can use your navigation disk. If you move it around, you will notice that it will, you will see a gray border highlighting the icon. So we can move it around to settings. And in settings, you could do the basic settings like programming, the lighting behind your screen. You could also program the ring sound to your phone. We have, the Polycom phones have like 20 other ring sounds for you to pick from. So once you get out of there, you can press the home key again and move it on to directories. And in directories, it will bring you up to another menu option. And there's two ways for you to get to those options. You could either press the number next to the option or you could select it with your navigation disk. Go ahead and press number one for contact directory if you have your phone next to you. And in contact directory, you may have some contacts already stored on your phone. To store contact, all you have to do is click on add. And you may want to put the person's first and last name or however order you want. And in option number three where it says contact, that's where you're going to put in the phone number for that contact. Okay? Then you're going to scroll down so you see favorite index. So if you want to add this contact as a favorite, all you have to do is press the num put put in the number that's already there highlighted for you. And there will be a shortcut for you to get to this contact. So if you scroll down some more all the way down to you see watch buddy, if you enable your watch buddy, that contact can show on your screen if you have any space available here and you could speed dial them from there. Okay. So once you've made your changes, you could go ahead and click on save and to get rid of this screen, all you have to do is press the home key, press it twice. And while you're not using the phone, all you have to do is press the up arrow and it will show you all your favorite contacts and you could dial, it, dial them from there, okay? So now I'm gonna show you about your missed calls. So when you have missed calls, it will show on your screen and it will blink there. If you want access to your missed calls, all you have to do is press the down arrow while you're not using the phone and it will give you a list of all your missed calls. From there, you could click on more and then clear to delete them, and it will delete them from your screen as well. If you want to view your received calls and your placed calls, you will hit the down arrow while you're not using the phone, and then you will click on type. From there, you can make your selection of your received or placed calls, and the Polycom phones will store that information for you. Okay, so moving on to your incoming calls. When you're receiving an incoming call, it will show something like this. It will have the person's name, extension, or phone number. If you answer an incoming call while you're currently on a call, it will place your current call on hold, they will hear music, and you're free to answer that new call. Once you finish that in with that new incoming call, you will hang up and click resume. This button right here will change to resume and you could get that call that you placed on hold back. So you also have the option to reject that call, to forward it, and if you click on more, it gives you the option to ignore that call. This is the outline of all the features we went over today. Just so you know, your microphone is located at the bottom of the phone, at the right side. And this is our support team email address in case you guys want anything programmed on your phones, like your um, con colleagues extensions, as a BLS button. And I'm gonna open up everyone's mic now in case you guys have any questions or you could just type it in and I'll be happy to answer them. Any questions? Also, I wanna make sure you guys grab the handouts. They should be on the side panel right under questions. There should be a triangle, just click on the triangle and it'll give you the list of the handouts and you could download them from there. I have a I have a question. Can you hear me? Sure. Is this Veronica? Yeah. This is Veronica. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. So you indicated that the phones have a set of icons. If you press the um, the 
hold button or the, the button, I don't even know what the name of the feature is. It's the circle with the arrows. <laughs> and oh, the, the navigation button. disk? Right, so that if you press that, um, it will switch to a screen with a set of icons on it. No, the, the home key is the one with the house. If you yes. press if you press that button once while you're not using the phone, it will uh, give you the yeah. icon. Gotcha. If you're, if you're okay. on the phone, you have to press it twice. I see. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Got it. Okay. Thank you so much uh, for joining today's training. Uh, did you get a chance to grab the handout? Uh, hold on. I, uh, this is, where is it again? It's right on the side panel where it says handouts. There's like a triangle there. You will click on the triangle and it will give you the list of the handouts. Hold on a minute. I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. I could it. also email it to you, Veronica, if you like. Okay, if you could do that, that'd be great. I don't see it on my screen. Okay, I'll do that right now, okay? Awesome, thank you. Thank you for joining today. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.